Good morning. Welcome back to uh, the old Polish farm in Colonia. I'm a little uh, stiff this morning. I had a bit of a accident on the farm yesterday. kind of learned the lesson the hard way of uh, always use weights with a telehandler or telehandler front loader and uh, try and use the right tool for the job um, trying to use bail forks with a front loader especially on that T25 it's really um, finicky Anyway, and it did not like standing on the railing, turn the light off. It did not like when I tried to pick up a pallet of tomatoes. It threw me off. We've got bailing contracts. I returned the uh, wrapper by the way, because uh, the silage wrapping contract was uh, up on one of them weedy fields over there, so I knew it wasn't going to work, which is too bad because that's good money. God, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> I woke up, I was kind of hoping it was a dream. Um... Yeah, we won't be using this for a while. The exhaust is smashed. Not quite sure how we're gonna get it back upright. Flip it. Flip it this way. Try and keep it out of the crop, but I guess, you know, important thing will be to get it out of here. Okay. Corn looks good. Spring wheat looks nice. Winter wheat's getting there. We're in June too. This should be ready in July, I think. <sighs> we got uh, 12 cows. We got a dozen cows now. So we got a contracts to do hay bales. We got the round baler. We'll do rounds. What I'll do is I'll try and keep uh, three of them, maybe. Then I can use them to make silage. Well, we need food. We might keep more than three, for that matter. Um, we need forage for the cows. So I, I'm not going to put any more hay in here. I want them to consume this so I can get them started on the uh, total mix ration because if they had hay left, they would just leave it in preference for the total mix ration. So I don't want to waste a lot of feed uh, by doing that. Take a look at the uh, animal menu. See how much they have left. 
So they've got 5,328. That's, that's going to be a few days worth, definitely. So we should be fine. Oh, I forgot to look how much milk we had. I think we got enough to take some. Uh, do that maybe later. I'm gonna leave the uh, leave the baler here for now. Looking at my fuel gauge, I learned this the other day. Uh, on the Ohio farm, I was doing a cotton harvest. I ran out of fuel. Came to a dead stop in the middle of the field. So I think we're going to head straight up to the gas station, grab some fuel for this. I do have a jerry can of fuel in the shed there, but... I'll keep that for emergencies. So I got baling uh, hay on this field on the corner here. And the one on the other side of that arable crop field there. And we can use the mower from the biogas plant. So we'll go get some gas and then we'll head over and grab that mower and get started on that. That wasn't so bad. Our money's pretty good, so... It's going to cost a little bit to... Uh, get that T25 operational again. Almost don't want to deal with it, but well, what's that sign mean? The one that looks like a T made out of red and white with the the top red and the bottom white. I don't know. California stop. I uh, wanted to take that silage bailing contract so I could try and redeem myself over here at the uh, biogas plant <laughs> with the uh, delivering here so the the triggers are I, you have to own it for the triggers to show up uh you can dump i think here and then i think the other triggers inside of there now i've been told and i tried putting them in 
didn't work if I didn't own it. I've been told that it might work if you place the bale right in front of it, even if you don't own it for those contracts. So I wanted to try that, but maybe next time. Okay. Tatter on the front. did this before, didn't I, where I wasn't over far enough. Don't want to make that same mistake. There we go. That should be wide enough, right? I can hit that now. Got it. Okay, you know the train's gonna be coming now. traffic on this road. <laughs> Go up to the top here and start. I don't think I've ever done this field before.
Okay, I'm going to try something here. Okay, I just changed it to manual gearbox. I don't know how I changed gears. How do you change gears? I don't know. I'll just go up in L1. That's too slow. I need to figure out how to shift into L2. Oh, there we go. That's not really any better than what I was doing, was it? So to shift, you have to have the gas pushed, which would be the R2, and then you up and down on the D-pad. How do you change the range, I wonder? How do I go into reverse? I don't know. Uh, we have to take class. Oh, I guess it could have kept downshifting until I was done. I don't know. I'll figure it out sometime. We're almost done here. Up one more time and it should do it. Up and down. See, I'm in S range right now. I don't know how to get out of that. And that's why it's so slow, but it wasn't much. I don't know if there's any faster in L2, to be honest with you. I don't know why I came across that third time across the top, but I only did. I'll have to look around and see if anybody else needs fields harvested. I see more barley fields. Ooh, that might have fit through that.
there you go, tedding done. I don't know if that's a better way to do it, but well, we'll see. We'll windrow it and get it bailed up. Oh, no traffic. Quickly. Ah, it's too good to last. Pardon me, good sir. I'll do that later. I might get lucky and it might look real good and it might look awful. Somebody commented that you should go in opposite directions. I think they meant with the wind roar, but I tried it with the tether just because I didn't want to throw, you know, the stuff out of the field too much. We'll see how this goes. I wonder if I... Yeah, this might work pretty good, actually.
Okay. Wonder how quickly the bailing will go. That went really well. to have the camera fairly close to the equipment so uh, it makes the machinery louder. I'll try to be cautious about that. It's lunchtime. So before we go off and do the bailing, let's grab ourselves some lunch and look at the mess we made yesterday. Oh, God. I came in for lunch and you can see I, I purchased a new vehicle up there at the uh, top right hand corner for about 7,000. The Lily Baylor that we used a while back, last time we were doing hay baling, it came up used for like half price. So I bought it. Um, I don't know if that was a smart thing to do or not, but now we have a baler to do small squares. So we have our own baler. We don't have to lease them anymore, uh, which is awesome. I've been thinking about how to do this. So I contemplated trying to use the new recovery rope and a wheel loader with a trailer attachment to, to lift it, but really don't get the height that need to lift it. So probably just gonna borrow the neighbor's T25 with the uh, front loader and see if we can just flip it back over. Um, and yeah, we'll probably need it for the bail handling as well. Okay, well, let's get over the field and get going on the bales. That was a quick lunch. Just grabbed a quick bite. Um, yeah, we'll just go out the back way. It'll come out over by, come out over by the field. Get the hole a wide berth here. So these are all going to the biomass energy plant, which is up there by PGR.
think we'll uh, we'll make the bales, then we'll load that trailer with one layer and uh, take that up there and see if we can do the math to figure out what we have to deliver for bales and we'll know what we can keep these will probably um I'm guessing it will f make the bales fairly quickly because these windrows are so big might have to come back and get that little bit of grass into the field yep just a little bit figure out how to rake that in yeah these windrows are really big Gonna take the chance that I can get one more bale out of these two strips and then whatever whatever's left after that I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go get my new used Lily baler and get whatever grass is left because you can't unload a partial bale from here get all the hay off the field that way and get to keep it all or deliver it all okay so that's definitely not going to be enough for another bale right I don't think there's any chance that it could be another bale what do we get we got four on this field four four or five over there we have four on each field Ugh. I want to try and keep three of those, but I don't know. 
I don't know if I'll get away with it. So the thing about this baler, I don't know, it seems to hook up low and it doesn't want to pull with this tractor. I'm not sure if it's just not matching up correctly. We leased it, so I'll, we'll return it. We'll bring it back. But watch, I'll unhook. See how it's kind of got that interesting little and then I back up to it, I hook it up, and it's got like a weird thing. And then we're going to lower the pickup. I guess you can see it go down. Very little. Well, that first time you could. After that, you couldn't. So I don't know. So this is ours. It could probably use some repairs. We're going to use it straight away in the condition it's in right now. To get the rest of the hay off that field. Oops, sorry. It does have working turn signals on it. The nice thing about um, sometimes leasing equipment, after you lease something, it'll come up in the uh, used equipment shortly thereafter so you can buy it. That happened to me on Ohio Farm with, what was it? I think the uh, roller. Not the mulcher, but the field roller. I leased one, did some rolling, and then in the next couple of days, one came up in the uh, used equipment. So I think he unfolded it. I tried to. Get it all. I missed a bit back there. Dang it. Have to go back up there. See that this climbs, this just works so much better with it. I thought I missed some right there. Doesn't look like it actually. Baylor now that is awesome especially considering that uh, Merrick's Baylor broke so actually I feel kind of bad about that maybe we broke it thought about for a second feeding these to the cows, but I don't want to do that, do I?
drop it there by the toolbox because we're going to need to work on that. Do some repairs. We got eight. That's about what will fit on the trailer, I think. We could go up and deliver them one by one. Might be one way to do it. How many did we... How many silage bales did we fit on there? I think we had 10 on there. Let's go sheepishly ask to borrow our neighbor's T25 with the front loader. Given what happened to ours, though, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't want to loan it to us. Um, oh, they were kind enough to <laughs> loan it to us. These are the larger weights, and this is what I probably should have had on the back. See, he's got the the window that you can see. You're so close to the seat in here that it really doesn't matter. You can't see anything there anyway. Okay, so no sooner than I said, ensure that you have the right tool for the job, I'm going to go use pallet forks to stick hay bales. Oh, hi, there we go. Let's get the one at the top first. Bring those in tighter. We'll probably do this one at a time just because might be a better idea. I don't think it likes it, does it? It's like spitting it off the end. Yep. Dropped it. And then it speared the heck out of it. There we go. It's working its way off.
All right, I got four on here. I think what I'll do is we'll take and deliver these four and figure out what the math is. So each each bale was each bale was forty five hundred liters. Okay, forty five hundred, forty five hundred. Hopefully, I don't hold. So I got eighteen thousand. Okay. So using the T25 with the <laughs> pallet forks doesn't like it and it slowly kind of rejects the bale and pushes it off the end. I should have maybe tried to get the bale spike off the front of mine, but since it's flipped on its back, I didn't think it would work real well. I wonder if this will come. My guess is this should complete one of the contracts. And then hopefully I can figure out the percentage for the other one. I didn't think of that. I probably should have brought one more at least. All right. So here we go. We got 18,000 liters. We'll take the straps off and it should deliver. Okay. They're both done. Right? Yeah. So we can keep all the rest. Okay. Nice. This one we can manhandle. We'll just put it back here for now. We'll go get that T25. Much better, yeah. Take those up later.
Okay, that's a win. I think that's about all we got time for today. Uh, thanks for joining me here on the old Polish farm. Appreciate you hanging out with me. I know your time is valuable to you, and you have a choice what to do with your time, and I appreciate you choosing to spend a little of it with me. We'll see you next time.